May 7th, 2023 will forever be a memorable day for the Herberts Macaulay, Ajayi Crowther and Uriare families. These families of distinguished heritage who have carved a unique path in the history of Nigeria decided to celebrate the life of the late nationalist Herberts Hilas Olainka Macaulay, who passed on 77 years ago with a colloquium in honor of the great icon. The event was held at the Freedom Park, Lagos Island. Herbert Olayin Kamakoli was a renowned Nigerian political leader. He was born on the 14th of November, 1864. He was one of the first leaders of the Nigerian opposition to British colonial rule. He was a civil engineer, a journalist, a surveyor, and an accomplished musician. Herbert Macaulay was the founder of the first political party in Nigeria, the NCNC, and one of the earliest newspapers in the country, the Daily News. The event, which was anchored by Kofi Ido Nuel, started with an opening prayer by Pastor Walio Lusonya, who prayed for all the descendants of Herbert Macaulay to also walk in the same path as the iconic Herbert Macaulay did. The welcome address was given by Mrs. Olabisi Shuaib of the fourth generation of Herberts Olayinka Macaulay. On behalf of the Macaulay Crowther Oriari Family Union, we welcome you all to the inaugural Herbert Macaulay Colloquium. The colloquium, the colloquium is basically the celebration of different aspects of a, a great human being, Herbert Macaulay and his contributions in his lifetime to the development of Nigeria. To this end, we have invited four notable speakers to deliver papers on, one, engineering, as the first Nigerian registered engineer, second, journalism, as the Nigerian, as the Nigerian to establish a daily, a newspaper, third, politics, as the founder of the first political party, which is the Nigerian National, the Nigerian National Democratic Party, NNDP. Fourthly, Yoruba mythology. He studied and practiced the essence of the Yoruba mythology. A lot has been said already, and we hope to learn a lot more. So we believe that these topics will further enrich your knowledge of who Herbert Macaulay was and his contributions to the de development of our dear country, Nigeria. Nigeria is truly a very great country, and we hope that one day it will be great again. The chairman of the day was Chief Olabode George, who gave a powerful address with an in-depth history of Herbert Macaulay. According to Chief Bode George, the late Herbert Macaulay, who was born in the upper class of the society, had friends both in the lowest of the cadres and in the upper class. Herbert Macaulay also helped reclaim the vast land of the Chief Oluwa family. He ended his remarks by thanking the organizers for honoring him with an invitation as the chairman of the colloquium. Politically, culturally, you see his own networking. And when you talk the tradition, he was ever so proud of being a Lagosian. He didn't see it in his room. Somebody said he did. They didn't know that he was also a musician. Every, every weekend, there was a concert in the casting hall, which was his home. So the whole time, the whole period was service to the people. I am very happy to be here today and we want to use his contribution as a source of contact that we should try as much as possible with the media people to remind Nigerians that there are some people who existed before who sacrificed so much. The British were bouncing him here and there with Several times they put him in jail for flimsy excuses, all because he stood directly in front of them and said, Look, I, I was educated in your country, well educated. Papa was an engineer, he was a surveyor, was a musician, 
it was an all in all. At that time, the first Nigerian politician was Papa Herbert Macaulay. 1922, he established the NDP, NNDP, the first political party. He adopted Namdi Azikiwe when he came back. When Zik, we was the one that first came back to Nigeria. Dr. Namdi Azikiwe adopted him as his son. He didn't care whether he was Igbo or he was Hausa, he was this. The first lecture was given by Professor Yemiuke, who spoke about the political life of the great Herbert Macaulay, referring to the late icon as a distinguished politician, a radicalist who fought the British colonial government tirelessly to liberate Nigeria from her grip and bring about the independence of the country. Baba Herbert Macaulay was a professional in politics. That's why they had a second address. They had streams of survival. To the anyone she joined your time, they were able to speak thoughts to powers. When you are the military, is a profession, I'm sure you know. As we all know, by way of background, Herbert Macaulay of blessed memory, for whose fondest memories we are all gathered today, was an iconic figure in the history of Nigeria's struggle for independence. No one can take that away from him. He was a nationalist, a distinguished politician, a radical social reformist who fought tirelessly against colonial oppression to liberate you and I. The second lecture was delivered by the chairman and CEO of Biscon Communications, Prince Bisiolatilo, who encouraged the younger generations to unite as one and fight for Nigeria, not for any benefit or recognition, but as responsible citizens. That's the man, but for him, we, not, we, have not been, we will not have been talking about Lagos, not to talk about Nigeria. He laid his life on the line for the sovereignty of Lagos, the sovereignty of Nigeria, and in fact, politics that we're all celebrating today. So these are the men that built the bricks, and they did this effortlessly just for Nigeria. And the man in his in his DNA has hatred for the whites because the whites also hate us. And he said, no, this is not going to work. How can you come here and be dictating to us we're going to run our government? We're a sovereign nation. I mean, before we became sovereign, he fought for it. And I'm happy that the Lord uh, called him on. Before he was called on, he had made his mark. He has impacted his society, the society. And today we can remember him Notable personalities present at the event were veteran broadcaster Bimbo Luyidi, who is also related to the Herbert Macaulay family, as well as other descendants of the Herbert Macaulay, Ajayi Crowder, and the Riari family, as well as students of St. Gregory's College, which was founded by Herbert Macaulay. Awards and plaques were presented to dignitaries for their great accomplishments. Chief Bode George, Prince Bisiolatilo, the vote of thanks was given by the convener of the colloquium, Gladstone Macaulay, who appreciated everyone for honoring the invitation and also promised to make the next edition better, even as they work towards getting a public holiday approved by the federal government to celebrate the great icon, Herbert Macaulay. From Biscon Communications, it's congratulations to the organizers of the event.